Tonight we are doing a special vintage unboxing video of a very special vintage appliance that I found. So, thank you very much for watching and welcome to Florence Ballard A3060, the channel for vintage washing machines, appliance reviews, demonstrations and tutorials, 1960s and 80s music and the Hoover A3060 Electronic 1100. Well guys, welcome back to the man cave as we'll say. Well, technically I've got two man caves. I've got my bedroom, and I've got the shed outside. The shed outside though is more my man cave. So, you only want to side this table with a very lovely dirty washcloth though, because it's one that's waiting to be washed. Um, I've got everything's arrived here. As you can see there's boxes here. Uh, yes, that's a South African Airways 747-400 model. Uh, all of our stuff arrived and so the washing machines there. We're just waiting for the generator to be fixed told it maybe next week. If not, maybe Saturday we might drive the big truck up here which has got a generator on it and hook it up to that and just so I can get the maintenance washers done. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> keeping a hold on the washing machine videos for the moment. We're going to be doing a vintage appliance uh, unboxing, so it means it's come in the box, and a demonstration and a review on it. Uh, so, a couple of weeks ago there was a vintage market here, they, they have a lot of these um, over in Maida Vale. It's going to sound stranger, there is, a, there is actually a Maida Vale out here in Perth, Australia. Uh, there's also a Queen's Park. Uh, what was the other thing that was here? There's another... There's also a Welsh pool out here, which I didn't know was actually over in Wales. There's quite a few places out here that are already existing in the UK and some in London. Um, so I, I saw this uh, certain appliance, a vintage GE hairdryer. Um, I think this dates to the 60s or something. It looks like a 60s design in a box. First general electric appliance that I've got. Uh, and this is a rather unusual hairdryer. Well, it was probably very common back in the day. Um, it's not one that you hold, it's one that you, it's a bonnet. You put over your hair and you set it down and it dries aside. So I've made my hair extra wet today. I've just had my shower and I've not to properly dry my hair so we can let this do it. Got it for only $10. Yet there were uh, vintage fans out there for $100. Uh, there was actually a vintage, I think 19, Oh, what did the guy say it was? I think it was 1930s or something. Not 30s, 19... I think it was 1940s or 50s. It was an Electrolux vacuum, but... A cylinder... No, was it Electrolux? I think it was a General Electric one. I can't remember, but... It, obviously, I didn't have enough money on me to really... But I didn't really want to go spending too much. So... We're going to get looking at this, unboxing it, and... Yeah. We'll do a demonstration. I haven't... Uh, looked in it either, neither have I used it. As I said, I leave all my stuff for YouTube so you guys can experience it with me. So I don't even know what it sounds like. I've been told it works though. So, let's do it. Okay, let's have a look guys. So, nice box. Model HD8C by General Electric. The fast, lightweight and quiet hairdryer with reaching bonnet and vanity, vanity case. So you can see it's like a round design, and then that'd be the end where the air comes out. It was made in the General Electric division in Victoria, uh, which is in the, I think that's southeastern Australia, that is. It's going towards like Sydney, well, when everyone knows of Melbourne. <coughs> Same on this side as well. Yeah, manufacturing plants. Australian General Electric Appliances uh, Property Limited. Notting Hill in Victoria. Um, this is any, but you can see there, ten dollars. Let's have a look. Oh wow! There's that really nice vintage smell that you get. Um, 
Oh, I don't know how to describe that. Uh, okay, have you ever walked into... I'm trying to think. The only other place I've smelt this is we have a store called I and H stores in Ealing. In West Ealing. And they deal with curtains and whatnot, but their shop is very old. It looks like it's something from the 60s. And it's got that smell when the heaters are on. And it, I don't, I'm trying to figure out what kind of a smell. It's not like... It's not like vinyl. It's not like vinyl record, but it's sort of going along that, that thing. If you ever walked into like a charity shop, you might smell that. My God, that might be British Heart Foundation. A bit. Some of the appliances used to smell like that. I have to get vintage irons and whatnot. So, it comes in a very nice handbag. Though, I do not think I would want to be walking around with that in my bag. <laughs> we'll set the box down. Nothing else in the box, as you can see. So we'll set the box to one side. If my hair decides to dry, because it is very hot out here at the moment in Australia, I think it's only about 20 degrees outside right now, and it's night time. I'll wet my hair more. So. No branding on there or anything, but it's pretty much like a handbag. That's what I mean by the vanity case. Okay. Okay, opening it. Let's see the goodies. Wow. Okay, so yes, I was right. There you go. Nice vintage turquoise blue colour. That's definitely a sign of the 60s, that is. So much like a vacuum cleaner hose. And there's your bonnet. It looks clean from what I see. And we've also got a plug. And there you go, guys. That's the Australian plugs. Three pins. And then, of course, some paperwork. If that's the warranty or what that is. Set that down to the side. Uh, if you can hear dogs barking, it's our dogs here. So, ah, the guarantee, oh, this is always good because it sometimes tells you information. Oh my god. Okay. They brought this. 17th of December, 1968. So this is presumably something around 1966, 68, I'd say. Because I don't know if it was made during that time. Oh, let's have a look. General Electric. Uh, yeah, there's a vacuum cleaner. Oh, they did an automatic blanket. They did an electric blanket. Ooh. Hair dryer. I did see one of those. Can openers. There it is. A hair dryer. Hmm. Good if it said a filter flow. It'd be good if it had the filter flow on there. In Perth, where is there? Irwin Street. Hang on, I know where Irwin Street is. Yeah, that's near Midland, I think. Look at this. How like a vintage font. Trademark of General Electric Company USA. Ah, here's your instruction manuals. Okay, let's keep that nice and safe in that vanity bag. Right, let's have a look at this now. So, got a very nicely tied cable here. Oh, they've actually properly tied that together. Might have to cut that. This looks like it's hardly ever been used. I may be able to untie that with my hands, or I may have to actually cut it with something. Oh, I ain't got any bloody scissors down there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you can always use your incisors. If you don't have scissors, you can use your incisors. <laughs> anyway, that's quite a long cable. Oh, wow, yeah. That is quite long. It's probably about three metres. So, Burton plug we have. Or, or everything here has moulded plugs. It's in a plastic one. So, let's have a look at the hairdryer. So, 
You cannot actually detach this. This is like permanently on there. It even says that you're not meant to. So what you do, see where it connects there? It doesn't actually screw on, it slips on like that and then you push and that's on there nice and tight. Just pop it off like that. Now, if you look here, Daughter, shut up. You have your speed settings. So it's off, then you have oh your your heat setting, sorry, so off, you got cool. I like this. Plastic um sl slider. So that's off, cool, low, medium, and high. I don't know if that's speed or maybe speed and heat together. Unless it remains at one speed and then you just push it up. It'd be very interesting to see. You can't see it probably. I think that's your filter there. Flip it over. Uh, I don't know what that's about. It's very rough. Maybe there used to be something on there. Yeah, she's screws there. But no, it looks like a very nice, that's a very nice colour. That reminds me of actually the colours um, that GE did use on a lot of their, a lot of, in fact, a lot of appliances back in the 60s were that colour. Um, frigid, frigid air washers were that light blue, like the Unimatic, yeah, the second Unimatics, the Rollomatic was that colour as well. GE also did their first combination uh, washer dryer in that colour. Uh, I think they even released the filter flow in that colour as well. There were quite a few that were in that colour. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice colour. It's just something you'd see on Grease or something. Most likely something the Supremes would have used. <laughs> but anyway guys, I'm now going to put my myself in the position of a lovely lady using this. You know, I'm not a lady. <laughs> and I will uh, see how we go. Hope it works. Right guys, let's have a go. So, plug in, let's see if it actually works. Wow. It's pretty damn quiet. Have a listen to this. Low, that's the heat. Yeah. yeah, it gets quite warm and hot. You can hear it winding down. Okay, guys, let's get connecting. So, there you go. I've never used one of these before, so I'm not too sure what to expect, but they uh, that's the tightening. <laughs> this feels strange. Jesus, man. <laughs> you know what, I'm meant to tie all something together. I guess you could. Alright. I need to get a selfie of myself like this. I'll just hold I'll just hold the <laughs> You guys can have a laugh. God I I don't even know what I look like with this on. Oh, Jesus, I just pose with the hairdryer. Oh, I forgot that selfie vision is. Right, anyway, I can't wait to try this out. Never done one of these before, guys, so here we go. Starting on low. I'm put it closer, you can hear it start up. Hang on, if I move the 747. Maybe have it here, couldn't I? 
That's coal there going in. There you go, guys. So we can now have this in view. There you go. So we do about 30 seconds at each one. So I'm just going to have it on cold for a second. I get my, I get my stopwatch on. Alright guys, ready? Stopwatch. So, I'm going to switch it on to... That's on cool now, I'm going to put it on low. So that's on low now. So there's a bit of heat going in. Still a bit... Feel the air coming out the top there. It is actually quite a nice hair dryer, I like this idea. So yeah, oh it's getting a bit warm, the uh, hose is getting warm, now let's go on to medium, it's going to get warmer now. God, that's got some pretty good heat to it actually. Yeah, that really has. So the hose gets warm. It's actually pretty quiet. Very, it's the quietest hairdryer I know. It's quieter than the one I've got here. And finally, high heat. My favourite setting. Oh, I can really feel that heat going in now. It's nice. It's not a harsh. It's not a harsh blowing. It's just a nice, gentle breeze. very yeah hose is getting very hot as well how's that getting that's cold really I keep that going for a minute actually that high heat actually no Stop. let's see how well that's done the end result oh my goodness me Okay, a little bit damp there still, but if I probably let it, if I let that go for a minute, I'm, I don't even think you need high. I probably need medium for that. That's actually a really good hair dryer, like this. I was, if I didn't like it, I was going to sell it on, but I don't care. I'm keeping this hair dryer's keepers. We'll add it. In fact, this may become my hair dryer that I always use now. So I'm going to reset it and do one minute at high heat and see what happens. No, medium. And see, ready? Three, two, one. So we're not doing high, we're just doing medium heat and I'm gonna see how long, just see what happens What one minute, if that will dry. So this is not hot, but it's medium heat. Good, I've been wanting to film this for ages, this one. I did say, guys, there was something special coming up. Doesn't even have to hold, I can just, just do that. Ah. <laughs> just chilling with a random hose on me. Uh, some of you lot are probably having a good laugh about this. It's a brilliant hairdryer though. I've always wanted a bonnet hairdryer, well, one of these type. In the UK we get quite a lot, but I'm glad to have had some from Australia. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Let it wind down. And then, if not, we will do one. Okay, let's feel. Bloody hell, that is pretty damn dry. Right, one minute at high heat. And that should be my hair all dry. Three, two, one. What an amazing sound that makes starting up. It's obviously taking in air from there. Never used one of these hair dryers before, but I think that they are the great one of the. I think they're the greatest. 
and most interesting hair dryer. So, you know, uh, so a girl would be sat on her bed and she'd be reading and whatnot. I tell you what, the next time I demonstrate one of these, I will do that. I will actually sit on the bed reading. But the idea is normally with a hair dryer that has multiple speeds, I would do 30 seconds at each speed and each heat setting. So, for example, low speed, cold, low speed, warm, etc. I just feel it blowing through there. It's getting quite hot now. Oh, very hot actually. You normally should never really keep a hair dryer on too long on a high heat. But hey, it's not burning my head. Oh, you can see it's nice and puffy as well. And now we're going to stop. You can probably see it deflates like a balloon. Feel the heat there. Let's feel this. rain. I don't know. Anyway, so slightly, very slightly damp, but it's just it's just the hair's really underneath. But aside from that, that's actually done a really good job. So I'll just pop this here and leave it leave it to cool. There we go. So guys that was the general electric model H D 8C bonnet hair dryer from 1968, or it's a late 60s model anyway, complete with vanity case and your uh, bonnet cap. So very good ease of use, um, even for someone who's not into vintage appliances like, like I am. It's a very simple terms of use, you've got your controls, very easily labelled out, not fancy, all, all these fancy settings and attachments, so nothing to lose. So out of 10, I'm going to give this a honest opinion, 9 out of 10. And the reason I give it that is because it's very quiet. So you could sit and chat with your friends or whatever when you're using it. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't get too hot. Despite the fact I had it on the high setting for a long time. Most of my hair dryers, the entire top part gets, gets hot and so do the attachments and you have to leave it out to cool before you can put it away. I also like the way that the bonnet cap fits comfortably uh, and can be adjusted to any head size and hair as well. And also generally for having lasted that long, uh, it's obviously come from a very well looked after home. And it, yes, it doesn't, it doesn't scream in your ear like most of my hair dryers I, I have do. Uh, it's and it, it's actually quite, as it says, lightweight. And it all comes with a handy bag to store it in, so you don't have to have hair dryers and cables lying around inside your drawer. You just have that there. So, guys, I uh, hope uh, this will interest people who find any of these at car boot sales or anything. And I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. I will be hopefully doing washing machine videos soon. I do not know when, guys, but as as I say, you know of me. If I do have an update on it, I'll post it and we will get uh, machine videos out. So thank you very much for watching guys and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.